Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the D problem of course forces that is equal to R. Okay, so we are given an array A of length 2n consisting of each integer from 1 to n exactly twice. Okay, so it is fine. So we are also given an integer k that is 1 that is between 1 and n by 2. Okay, so we need to find two arrays L and R each of length 2k such that L is a subset of first n elements and r is a subset of last n elements and what we need to do we need to find the jar of uh, first like l elements the elements of l array and the bitwise jar of r elements like not r the elements of array r it should be equal <laughs> and it is said that there will be a pair always. So, if there are multiple solutions, you can print any one of them. Okay, so, okay, and we know what is the subset. So, we know that. So, just we need to see the example. So, first, like before going to any example, uh, we need to understand one property that is like jar of A and A that is 0. Right. We need to understand that. So if we know this condition, it will help in our solution. So <clears throat> what we need to do? Like suppose there are two parts like 1, 2 and 2, 1. What we can do? We have no other choice. Like there are same elements. So we can have 1 here, 2 here, 1 here and 2 here. That's it. In both elements we can we can form I, L and R and the elements are same. So obviously bit by jar will be same, no doubt, right? So let's see the better case here. What we can do, we need to find only two elements, right? So two elements is a very simple case. So like, let's divide this. So we have 12 elements. So first six are these and these. So I told you that a jar a is obviously 0 <coughs> and 0 jar is 0 obviously 0 so what we need to do we need to find the elements such that if they are repeatable so we need to find two elements so like if we can see like 2 and 2 are here so we can put in first array 2 and 2 in second array we need to see like if there is any repeatable elements, yes, we can find that. That is 5, 5. We can put it here, 5, 5. If we take the bitwise jar of these elements, it will be 0. 5, 5, it will be 0. That means we can achieve that. And this is the answer, right? And if we see this case, again, we need to now find four elements. So let's see. So if we see here, so we have. Mm, this is 4, 5 and 6. Now what we can see? Like there are 1, 1. Obviously we can have 1, 1. There are 3, 3. We can have 3, 3. Now here, if there are repetitive elements. Yeah. 2, 2 and 6, 6. It is satisfying this condition, right? So it will be give 0. It will also give 0. And that is the target. We need to make it same and we can easily. Let it be like our target is this thing. But suppose if if these are not elements, these elements are not present. These are also not present. Now we need to find. Now what we can do? Like we need to insert that element which is present in both arrays both subset basically first half and second half if it is present in both it will contribute the same right so if you see in this case is there any man uh, there is no element which is presents the same so we can't do that but let it be instead of having five here if it is present here then what we can do we can put five here five here and two is moving here not here you can say we can move six here so we can also put six and six that's it if the elements are same or the or pair is available 
that will contribute the same so no issues you can easily achieve right so this is the same approach we will follow so let's see the code to understand <coughs> it's a bit tricky not tricky but you can say so let's see the code okay so if we see the code what we can do like declare the vector that's it and we also need to have map like to check things okay so we just need to take the input and let's say answer one and answer two that means l and r two arrays so answer one is the l array and answer two is the right array okay so what we need to do like we need to iterate in the first half we'll do mp of one like in map one we'll update the count but if mp1 is present twice we will push it right again do the same we will push in the answer to okay now we need to check the size let's say it is the size of this okay if this size is already greater than 2 into k that means like it is possible there are some extra elements so if there are some extra elements we need to pop it out we need to remove them right otherwise what is the case otherwise we need to see what we can do we need to do like if this it it is initially like suppose we need uh, four elements and it is three so what we need we need one extra elements right so we'll iterate in this in this map follow and what we'll do like if i dot second is equal to equal to one that means like we want only the occurrence one single occurrence and it is also present in mp2 the second map then that is a possible candidate for our answer so we will push in both vector answer one and answer two and we can increase the size right and if this size is reaches at this stage like it is matching with four equal to four it is matching target mm -hmm. are target is completed then it's simple right we we'll just need to break it and after that what we need to do after that we just need to print it that's it we just need to print in this fashion like answer one full print answer two full print that's it hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding